being polyamorous and being monogamous, specifically with your twin flame, what is the best and highest relationship path that the universe has to offer you? If you stay tuned, Charles and I, we're actually going to share the truth and go into depth as to, yeah, what is the best here? What's the truth? Why do people be polyamorous and choose that path? And is being with your twin flame actually better? So what is being polyamorous? Being polyamorous, just saying a quick description here, is just being in a romantic relationship with more than one person. Um, it could be three, four, whatever. You get the idea. <laughs> you get the idea. So being polyamorous, is that's what it is. And we also want to state here, in no way or form is this video to shame you if you have explored in this relationship path direction. Uh, you're or not, currently. Or currently. Yeah, you're not bad. You're not doing anything wrong. And it doesn't hurt to explore if that's what you feel like you need to do. We're just here to explain the difference between the two. Yeah, we're here to share the truth for you as to really what is the best. So why do people end up choosing this relationship path? And this is a really good question, really good point. Because we're starting to see in the world, this is becoming more popular. People are choosing to be polyamorous. It's just, it's really becoming more popular. Well, the first reason is, you actually said this before, could be trauma. Maybe you have a lot of trauma around relationships. You know, you grew up seeing your parents not happy in a relationship. And maybe you find it hard to feel peaceful about the idea of being in a relationship and specifically with one person. And so it can feel kind of heavy and you're not peaceful here. This is why Jeff Julie's teachings, doing the mirror exercise, are really powerful in helping you heal in this area. And it really goes to into the next reason, which is fear that you can't be satisfied with one person. <laughs> yeah, this is, I feel like this is the main one and I've actually met a lot of polyamorous people in my older days as a, in the rave scene. I was around a lot of people in that sort of relationships. The reason why a lot of people fear they cannot be satisfied with one person is because maybe you've had a bad experience in, in a relationship. You were not satisfied in all the important areas and core values did not match up. They were very misaligned. And so you feel like it's unrealistic to be satisfied with one person for the rest of your life. And with your twin flame, that's... That's what's beautiful about your twin flame is you're actually aligned in all of these areas and core values where you're not going to be aligned with every single person you're trying to have these multiple relationships with. Like they're not, they're not going to satisfy you here. I said it before and I'll say it again. It's exhausting. It sounds exhausting. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it is. It's a it's a big energy leak. Yeah, spiritually exhausting to try and juggle, manage more than your flame. Yeah, you're leaking a lot of energy away because you're trying to have multiple relationships and and balance maintain. and maintain these multiple relationships. When in like the divine and highest truth is your twin flame can can give you all that you're looking for in these multiple people. We'll get more into this, yes. <laughs> but the, the next reason is looking for love outside of oneself. So yeah, a lot of people look for love outside of themselves and outside sources. They don't see their self as their source of, of love or as God as their source of love. And so they end up looking for this love in different places, you know, different people and different relationships. See, I can relate to that, not more sense like with people, but when 
I was obese with food. But it's the same principle, but just applied differently. Right. You're seeing food as like your source of love. Yes. That's a really good point. Yeah. And so you end up seeing multiple people as your source of love to satisfy this part of you that's really hurting and just exhausting and just needs a lot of love. Extreme. This is another popular reason that I have noticed and heard a lot from a lot of polyamorous people is they believe that it is selfish to be with, to be in a monogamous relationship. And the reason they believe it's selfish is because they think that you're keeping the person you're in a relationship from like exploring and like loving other people and experiencing other love. And like this one is just, is just like really funny to me because selfish actually being with other people who aren't your twin flame because you're, you're keeping them from being with their one true love because everybody has a twin flame and everyone's meant to, meant to be with their twin flame. As you're trying to satisfy your own need for self-love in multiple peoples, you're denying them their own love from their flame. Yeah, and being with your twin flame, you actually, it's freedom. It's divine freedom, and it the whole relationship frees you. It's the most unselfish, most loving, divine relationship because you're spiritually freed, and there's there's no, like, control. It's all surrender in your union with your twin flame. So why is being with your twin flame the ultimate path? Why is it better than being polyamorous? And Charles and I, what we would like to share with you is that being with your twin flame compared to, you know, being polyamorous, we had said in the beginning is it's a really big energy leak and you're going to leak a lot of your energy out into people who you don't deserve it. Don't do, yeah, don't deserve it and are not supposed to have your energy and your sexuality, especially. All the things that you look for in different people, you know, if you say you have three relationships going and you're like, Well, I like Katie because she's really funny, she's got a good sense of humor, and we really line up right here. But not so much like how I do with Jenny. <laughs> but I like them both and I really want to keep them around because I, I just love her th- these parts of her. And and so... Then there's Lucy. <laughs> there's Lucy. <laughs> so all these things that you're looking for... Exhausting. In, <laughs> all these things that you're looking for when you are polyamorous in these different people... Your twin flame has all these things, everything that you desire, that you want to do in life, your, the romance, the divine romance, they have all of it. That's what this relationship was created to be and is, is it's your divine union that God created for you. And there's nobody who's going to even fulfill you and reach to this point that's not your twin flame. They, just cannot match you here. And your twin flame is, yeah, they're created for you and they're gonna satisfy all these pieces in your heart. Divine dish for two. (laughs) And so, yeah, that's what Charles and I want to share is that being polyamorous may look like it's like the the best. It's over glorified. Yeah, it's very glorified because you're, you feel you have this freedom to love all these different people. But the true freedom that you get is the freedom with being with your twin flame. You're spiritually freed because it's the ultimate ascension path. So you're freed spiritually. It, it's like living with your twin flame is, is easy and natural. And it's not... You can't be that way with three people. <laughs> you can't be that way yeah it's it's not possible yeah and maybe there are some people that might argue different well they're lying to themselves they got to get past ego yeah you may there's a lot there for you to look at this also goes back to 
the point around the fear of being able to be satisfied with one person. And your twin flames is going to satisfy every single need, every single desire, your core values. There's really, really important core values that it's important to get clear in your heart because your twin flame is the only person that matches up in this, this area. So your twin flame matches up in all these areas that you just can't get with in, multiple people. With multiple people. Even though it may seem like it. It may seem like, well, being with four people, I have like an unlimited source of love and, and I'm satisfied. But your unlimited source of love comes from God. And then it's virtually expressed through your twin flame. And the love from the two others, it's temporary. Yes, that's a really good point. It's temporary. That's a really good point. It's temporary. It's in the moment satisfaction. Yes. And with your twin flame, it is eternal. Eternal. And that may sound really scary to some of you, especially like if you have the fear of being with one person because you're like, oh my gosh, eternity. How do I be with one person for eternity? <laughs> it's really easy. Yeah. It's just so easy and natural with your twin flame. You don't even have to. It gets better and better. Every it day. gets better and better, and the romance just gets better every day. It's a very natural, fluid relationship. And yes, like you said, with multiple people, it's temporary. Nothing about it is eternal. You will not find the eternal love you're looking for to take with you for lifetimes, beyond lifetimes. It's just temporary, and it will fade and fizzle with whomever you're with that is not your true twin flame. And in the end, you won't be happy. Yeah, you won't be happy, but you will be 100% satisfied in union with your twin flame. It's magical. It's beyond words. It's heaven on earth. Every day. And you get to take that with you for eternity, for lifetimes. And I wouldn't want it any other way. Same. Yeah. <laughs> And it does. It sounds exhausting, like you've been saying, to be with, like, three, four people. <laughs> Our message here for you is, yeah, being with your twin flame is the ultimate relationship. It's everything that anyone could possibly dream and desire and think up in their heart. And all your fears and doubts on whether you could possibly be satisfied with one person, well, we're here to, we're here to break that break that myth for you and for you to know that this is this is the divine union and if you are looking to maybe get out of a polyamorous relationship you're in or or just sort of curious about this path and you're in one well we highly recommend that you do look into Jeff and Shlia's work and you study the work and work with an ascended coach and learn about the teachings as it will help guide you into living your own heaven on earth, something beyond anything that you could imagine than what you currently may be in now that's not eternal and deeply satisfying in your heart. So thank you so much for watching. We hope that you liked our video. Like and subscribe. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Ciao for now.